Hello, my beautiful friends. I'm Janet. Welcome to my channel where I hope to inspire you to create a home and a life you love. Well, today is a bit of a thrift haul video. My mom and I like to go on what I call thrifting expeditions where we hit about 10 or 12 thrift stores all in one day. And we're gone from dawn until dusk and we don't get home until it's dark out and it's too dark to shoot a haul video same day. So today is going to be that haul. It's not very big. I didn't get that many things, but what I did get is really nice and I got a great piece of art. So if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to pair your thrifted items with art and whether that art is contemporary, like a new piece, or whether it's vintage art and show you how you can pair both types of art with your thrifted treasures. So stick around to the end. All right, friends, before I dive in and show you everything I got on this thrifting expedition, I thought I'd mention a little something about what I'm wearing. <laughs> Not my usual outfit, but after our thrifting expedition, I went into my mom's house to help her set up her Google account so she could then have a YouTube account and subscribe to my YouTube channel. After we did that, we had to subscribe or resubscribe, you know, to all of her favorite YouTubers. And we did that. We watched a video about vintage teas and how to find authentic vintage teas. And I had no idea how valuable vintage teas and specific ones are. So I thought, well, while I'm at the thrift stores, I'll just flip through some of the teas and see if I can find any cute vintage t-shirts. So when I did that, I found this one. I know it's authentic because of the information that I learned in that video. This is a 1966 vintage Chicago Bulls t-shirt. It says 1966 right here. I did look it up when I was in the store to make sure. Checked the tag and all of the other details that I needed to make sure that I was getting an authentic vintage tee. I don't think I'm going to sell it. I'm just going to keep it where I think it's cute. And uh, I love the fact that it's vintage. I'm also wearing a little antique bracelet that I found in one of my other thrifting videos. Anyway, so I hope that you learned something from this video because just like I learned from other YouTubers and other people that give out information about uh, vintage treasures, antiques, and other vintage items. I hope that you learn a little something from me as well. All right, let's dive in. So on this thrifting expedition, I really didn't find that many things. Sometimes I find about this many things just going into one store once, and some other times I'll just find one thing. But on this expedition, there were a few stores I went in where I usually find tons of great stuff and I just came out completely empty handed. So part of the reason for that is because I'm a little bit picky right now. I have so much inventory that I need to get up on eBay, but I just haven't had the time that I didn't want to buy stuff that I'm just going to hold in my inventory to put on eBay later. So I am really was just looking for things either for myself or to use in one of my properties or a project, a renovation project that I'm working on now. So typically I'll look for my own home, my renovation projects. Uh, my Airbnb properties, and then lastly for eBay. So I'm gonna wait until I start listing things and then I can start buying more things to put in that inventory. So if you ever see anything you like in any of my thrifting videos, uh, whether I'm shopping or a thrift haul, please let me know because I can then sell it to you or I'll, I'll rush and get it on eBay uh, because I do wanna sell things and I'm gonna be selling a lot of my staging inventory as well. But this time I was a little picky, so there's only a few things. So I'll show you quickly what I got, and um, then I'm going to talk a little bit about the art. All right, so the first thing that I found was this bowl. And I don't know if you can see over here, but I have a set. I found some other ones that match, so that's why I picked this bowl up. Um, it was $6.99, and it's a personal purchase. I am looking for a cottage that I'm going to name Rose Cottage that I'm going to turn into an Airbnb. So I'm always on the lookout for really cute rose decor items. So I found this little baby rose pitcher. I think it's really cute, really shabby chic. And then I also found this super cute rose bowl. This is, see, I need to wear my glasses during these videos. Uh, it's Bavarian Mignon and it was 99 cents. Very cute rose dish. Then I found a few things for florals. This is a little beat up copper um, vase or container. You could probably use it for whatever. It was only $1.99 and it is copper. So I thought I would pick this up. I think it'll be really cute with a little flower arrangement in it. And I also found this, which is brass and it was $2.99. 
And I happen to already have found one just like this, same style, but it's bigger and taller. And I thought it'd be really cute to do a vignette with both of them or do flower arrangements in both. So I picked that up. I also got this, which I think it was only 99 cents. Yeah, 99 cents at Goodwill. It was originally $20 and the tag is on the bottom. And I like to use these when I'm doing a big event, when I make do flower arrangements, I like to use these as my water buckets. And then when not in use, I like to store dried things when it's out of season or I can dry flowers in them. So these have a real practical use for me. Um, I always look out for French inspired baskets that look like they're vintage French baskets that I can decorate with. I do a lot of um, potted flowers in baskets on my back stairs leading to my kitchen in the summertime. And I thought this basket was really cute, looks really French. Now, moving on to things that I bought for my renovation project, which is a mid-century like split level house. So it's more contemporary, it's not my normal project, which is something a lot more traditional. And because I like antiques and thrifted items, most of my projects are very traditional in design elements. So this one, I wanna go a little bit more funky, a little bit more contemporary. And so I've been looking for things that'll fit that look, but not be so far out of my range that they don't look like my style anymore. So I found a few really cute things for that on this trip. The first being this incredible art glass vase, which I think is just gorgeous. I love the shape and the lines on it here and then it'll hold the flowers down here, but it's black and white. And my base color palette at this project is gonna be black and white. Those are my neutrals, and then I'll bring in some color depending on the color palette that I end up choosing. And then I also found these Roberto Cavalli uh, vintage glasses. They're normally, originally from Neiman Marcus. I've seen these on Etsy sell for $25 for a set of four. I've seen them on eBay for $85, so that's the estimated value. I got them for 99 cents each, so $4. And they are super cute. They're like totally my style because they've got like a little French toile scene. Um, it's the patchwork pattern. And they're, they're originally from like 1907 to 2002. Um, they were sold at Neiman Marcus, as I said. And the patchwork pattern has like a peacock, like all these things I love, like a peacock, roses, a little French toile scene, more roses, just some beautiful fabrics, leopard print. And you know, girlfriend here likes her leopard print. I also thrifted these Steve Madden leopard print van style shoes. <laughs> um, but there's four of these. And so I think that was a good find and these will look really cute on the bar cart at the project. Okay, you may have seen this behind me and been wondering what it is and your guess is as good as mine. Uh, this was $6.99. <laughs> My mom made me get this. I have no idea what it is or was. It might be a fireplace screen because it's got this leg on the back so it can stand up. But I thought this would be super cute DIY'd um, into something else. So I could probably put like a hook on the back. And then in terms of the front, I don't like this finish, it's metal. But what I thought I could do is paint it. It would look super cute like a white or an off-white or gold or gold with black on top and then sand down so that gold pops through from the black. I did a similar piece, um, but it was wood, that's hanging on my back fence and that is an off-white color to match my exterior paint color and I have it in my patio area. I thought this might be cute in my terrace area, which also has some enclosed, uh, it's an enclosed roof and it has a seating area as well. But I'm not really sure what I'm gonna end up doing with this yet, I haven't figured that out. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments below because this could have been a fireplace screen. I don't know. I wasn't even gonna get it. Get it. My mom was like, oh, you have to get that. You have to DIY it. So I was like, okay, so I got it. And then my find of the day, the piece of art. And this is why I want to talk a little bit about art today. So this is a antique lithograph. It's signed by Achille Deveria. I looked it up and it last sold at auction for $220. I got it for 12. And originally I thought 12 was a high price. <laughs> oh, it just tells me, you know, you gotta put things in perspective here. So I guess I'll, I'll, I'll break open the wallet and spend the 12. I thought it should be less <laughs> when I found it. But once I find out, found out the value of it, I didn't feel quite so bad spending the $12. Anyway, um, it's beautiful. It's a little French scene. It is Louis XVI. 
uh, it says the reign of Louis the 16th and uh, 1774. It's signed. I thought the colors in it were beautiful. And I love this sort of matting that's drawn on. Um, and I just think it's a gorgeous lithograph. The frame is a little bit damaged on the bottom. Um, I may reframe it. Uh, the gold gilt is just peeling off. Um, but I think this was a really good uh, score and it's like totally my style because as you know, I'm a Francophile. Um, so th this was definitely my find of the day, this art piece. So, um, oh, I think I forgot one thing. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about art. I don't think I showed you this Illinois plate. So this is made in the USA, 22 karat gold. It was 99 cents at Goodwill. I'm gonna use this in one of my Airbnbs because I get a lot of tourists coming in. And I just think having this cute little vintage Illinois plate, uh, it's the prairie state. It shows the state of Illinois, our state bird, which is the Cardinal and got corn on the cob and a few other things that are just reminiscent of Illinois. So I thought this was kind of cute and uh, it's gold plated. All right, now we will talk a little bit about art. So, I noticed something when I was setting up the table into three categories of the thrifted items that I bought. And so I put my personal purchase of the bowl and the rose cottage items together because they kind of matched. They're all white ceramic pieces. And then over here, I put like the French basket and the, the brass and the copper and this other metal container. So I kind of put the metal and the baskets over here. And then over here, I have the things for my project, which are also in a little bit of a different design style than that French stuff that I like. Although I think these could go either way. But if you look at them, you can kind of see that this is a little bit more contemporary. This is a little bit more shabby chic, cottagey, and this is a little bit more French. Now, I like to blend things. So you could blend uh, the, the French basket could definitely go with the shabby chic uh, rose cottage. Uh, like I said, this barware, you could definitely squeeze it in somewhere else just because of the, the patchwork pattern on it. There's toile in here, so I could put this with my, my French design. But that's the beauty of uh, vintage things and the fact that we live at this day and age, is that we have this whole history of interior design, fashion, decor, architecture styles that we get to mix and match. We're not stuck in one period where we have no choice out of necessity to just decorate or live this way. We can find all these old cool pieces and we can stage our house, decorate our house however we want. So we can mix in all these time periods and make it work. So the first rule of thumb is just always buy what you love and what you're drawn to because when you bring it home, you're gonna find a place to put it. And even if it's not now today, maybe it's later when you find another piece of art that's gonna go with it and you pair them up together. Or maybe you find these glasses and you later find the perfect bar cart. And when you do, you grab these out of the box or out of your uh, kitchen cabinet and set those up on your bar cart. So it's decorating in this old world mixed style of vintage things. It's not an instantaneous design. It's a process that takes time to create and cultivate and curate your uh, interior decor style. So when I was setting up these three different groupings, I realized your style might be one or the other. You might like super contemporary, you might like super old world. And with artwork, you can go either way. And so when I set up the three different categories, I noticed that this Louis print looked good over here with the French basket and my copper and my gold and my brass. That looks really nice with this vintage lithograph. Then when I moved it over here with the stuff for Rose Cottage, I realized the colors in it also looked really nice with the rose dishes. Then when I put it over here, oddly it works with these things for my next renovation project because this black and white vase picks up the black in the print. And these glasses also, they have a little French toile scene. They have, you know, a lot of design elements and details just like this does. And so this vintage print can look good with 
any of the three different design styles that I'm working with here. And then I thought, you know, you don't need to have everything thrifted in your home. When I do a project, I very frequently bring in things out of necessity and uh, to get, you know, due to finances, I bring in pieces from Ikea or Target or Pottery Barn that appeal to the masses, to the buyer today. I don't have a house that looks like you're living, you know, in the Victorian era. I mix design styles and I bring in a lot of those contemporary pieces that are inexpensive from Target or Pottery Barn or Ikea or wherever. And so I can blend those things together to make the place look really cute when it's staged. And then I realized it's the same with art. I use a lot of contemporary art when I'm staging and I can mix in my thrifted things as well. You can also thrift and find contemporary pieces. You know, I find a lot of Crate and Barrel and Williams Sonoma kitchenware that's, you know, brand new, but somebody got rid of it or it was a wedding gift that didn't match their set, they get rid of it. So I find those things new very frequently. But what I wanted to show you here with this other piece of art that's contemporary, this contemporary piece of art works also with the French basket and these gold and brass pieces. So if you wanted to go more French, you could bring this in. With that shabby chic look, you can always also go with this. Look, the pink picks up the pink of the roses. So if you're going shabby chic, you can always bring in a contemporary element like this. So it's not just all from one time period. And here, look how great this looks with these contemporary pieces. Now, when I say contemporary, these the house is gonna be contemporary, but these are actually vintage glasses. I just picked something that was a bit of a funky style that'll work in this house, but look how great these look with this. I mean, the black stripe on the painting and this black art glass vase, like look how good that works together. So you could use this contemporary painting for your thrifted items and mix these things together. Or you could find a vintage piece of art and mix those with any of these design styles as well. So it's just beautiful that you can go and buy whatever you like or love. It doesn't have to be one style or one time period. You can mix them up and mix and match and uh, color coordinate things however you want. I love contemporary art. So I live in a house that was built in 1914. You can see I have a 1920s magic chef back here. Um, I have it set up very much the way that it was originally as like a servant's kitchen. But then I have a mix of art on the walls. My whole house, even though it was built in 1914 and I have a lot of antiques, I have contemporary comfortable sofas. I have a lot of contemporary art. You know, you don't wanna feel like you're just living in a time capsule or in a museum. You want the comforts of home. And so we can mix from the turn of the century to mid-century to current we can mix different design styles you know it's our own home we can do whatever we want so that we end up creating a home that we love so there you have it Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you learned a little something here. Maybe even if it's just that you can mix design styles or time periods or different looks and to just buy what you love when you're out thrifting so that you can create a home that you love. All right, until the next one, ciao for now.